from Madeline Intimates here. If you're unfamiliar with Madeline Intimates, we are a Philadelphia-based lingerie company offering lingerie sewing patterns, DIY lingerie kits, bra making workshops, online tutorials, as well as ready-made lingerie. Basically, lingerie that you can buy ready-made or sew yourself. So if you have a sister who loves your made laundry, but you don't want to make it for her, I don't blame you. We have a team of sewers who hand make every order based on measurements. In this video series, I'm going to be showing you how to make the S9729. View A is a long slip, view B is a short slip, and view C is a half slip. What I love most about this pattern is its versatility. You can wear it as nightwear if you want to, or you can wear it as outerwear. Throw a jacket over and call it an outfit. Hashtag OOTD. In this video series, I'll be going over just sewing. If you need help with pattern alterations, corrections, fitting, I suggest checking out one of Madeline's online uh, virtual classes, www.madeline.thinkific.com. Now, roadmap. For this video series, I like to know what I'm getting myself into before I actually get into it. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what you should have cut out for each view. I want you to cut everything out, and then in the next video, we will start sewing. For view A, you want to have pattern piece number one, bodice front, pattern piece number two, bodice back, pattern piece number three, guide for trim, pattern piece number four, guide for trim, pattern piece number five, guess what, guide for trim, pattern piece number six, skirt front, pattern piece number seven, skirt back, and pattern piece number eight, straps. For view B, you want to have pattern piece number one, bodice front, pattern piece number two, bodice back, pattern piece number three, four, five, all of which are guides for trim, pattern piece number nine, which is skirt front, pattern piece number 10, which is skirt back, and pattern piece number eight, which is straps. You will probably notice that view A and view B, pattern pieces number one, two, three, four, five, and eight are all the same. The only thing that's different are the skirt patterns, nine and 10. So if you wanna make view A and view B uh, together, you can cut out two sets of pattern pieces number one, two, three, four, five, and eight. For view C, you want to have pattern piece number 12, guide for trim, pattern piece number 13, front and back skirt, pattern piece number 14, guide for trim, pattern piece number 15, casing, and pattern piece number 16, which is the guide for elastic. One note about the shoulder straps on this slip. They can be made with uh, cell fabric, and that's how the pattern uh, is cut out, you cut out the straps from the main fabric. Personally, I hate dealing with those little fiddly things and folding things a quarter and an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to recommend or suggest or just give you as an option an alternative, which would be to use fold over elastic and uh, rings and sliders. We do this uh, to make it a little bit easier and I have an example of it. So this slip, we use a wide fold over elastic as the straps. It is much easier to sew. We also added uh, rings and sliders for adjustability so that you can make it shorter or longer. So if you wanna do this, I will be demonstrating it in this video series. Get some fold over elastic. We put rubber elastic inside and some rings and sliders.